Hey everybody, it's Andy and I'm back again today. I know I did a short one for you yesterday, but I'm back again today. I wanted to really touch base on the stuff that we talked about yesterday. Here I am again, back in front of the project. Just took a little uh, break in doing tops paint. First coat of uh, finished paint is on the boat, so uh, we'll start working on that again tomorrow when it warms up a little bit. Got some jackets on because it's a little chilly here. And uh, I just want to say thanks for all the comments after my video the other day. Uh, quite a few comments about the boat and lots about coaching as well. Even somebody commented on my hair. Uh, they said the shem was signing and they couldn't see my hair. I don't have any left. I shaved it all off because I did a little uh, epoxy accident there. And uh, uh, once you do that, then you, you know, you got to shave it all off and, and start over again. So the very first part yesterday, we talked about uh, five things in order to get yourself really going on your goals. Today, I want to talk about the very first one of those things, which was make the goal simple for yourself you know it's great to dream big and this huge thing that you want to do but you got to break it down into a chunk that you're actually going to achieve in the timeline that you've set for yourself for most people a long-term goal honestly is three to six months longer than that is is great to have something to shoot for way out there but it's too far to see that too many things happen in that time so people get distracted and they lose track of their goals. Make your goal, this one that I've challenged you for, this one that I really want you to push for, I want you to make that for the next three to six months. Now we're gonna get some traffic noise going by here and uh, hopefully you can still hear me. It'll go away in a second. <laughs> Just like most of our attention spans are here and then woo, gone. But make your goal something that you can achieve in that timeline, okay? so. Get your big dream, what you want to do, start your own business or build your house or whatever it is, dig a tunnel, whatever the thing is, build a boat uh, and bust it down into the small chunk that you can achieve in the three months, okay? Three to six months. And, you know, as you get better at goal setting and better at achieving, you can push that timeline out longer. But honestly, you need to be looking at that shorter timeline so that you get success. Remember, success breeds success. The more times you can achieve, the more you will achieve. The more times you fail, the less you achieve. It just stands to reason, okay? So chomp that thing down. It might have multiple parts that you can get done in your timeline. Then figure out all the details about your goal. Write them all down. Do a big brainstorm. This takes multiple days to write a good goal for yourself. Multiple days. It's not a whip that baby off in a half an hour. Well, I suppose you could if you, if you knew exactly what it was, but if you put more thought into it, your brain can get itself around it and can really latch onto it. It can really start to get to grips with it and want to go get it, right? Because that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get the drive, the, the chutzpah, the go, 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 to go get that goal, all right? So chunk it down and then start figuring out all the details. Now, I know all of you have had the had and worked with the acronym SMARTER, S-M-A-R-T-E-R. -E had to check my spelling there just to make sure. But SMARTER goals. You know, the S, first S stands for specific. That means know all the details about your goal. Know everything about it. Know what it's going to look like when you achieve it so that you can figure out all the little parts that need to go into it so you'll know what they look like so that there's no mystery when you get there. Second part is M. Needs to be measurable. Okay, so you, the, the parts that you're looking at have to be something that you can see concretely, measure concretely. They can't be, I think it feels right. It doesn't work that way because that changes day to day. So figure out how you can measure it, time it, tape it, weigh it, whatever, to see that you're doing there. Take photos of it, a photo journal like I'm doing with my boat so I can see step one's done, step two's done, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Make it achievable, that's the A, and R, realistic. Now, those two things work in opposition of each other a little bit, okay? Achievable means that we can complete it successfully if everything goes right for us, and which it will, because we're going to really work hard at it, we're going to dedicate ourselves in the timeline that we've specified. Realistic means take a look at your whole life to see how that is going to be achievable, you know? If you've got a bunch of other commitments and you can only put a half hour to something each day, probably within the three months you'll be able to achieve less 
than if you could put four hours to it to a day or five hours or you had to, everything you were doing was put towards it okay so if you have a bunch of things like that that are going to take your time away or your attention span away shrink your goal down even more so it fits so achievable and realistic T stands for the timeline for you it's going to be three to six months more traffic noise coming I'm real sorry about this today it's really really busy for some reason people getting excited uh, spring is in the air I think it's nice weather so everybody wants to get their boats done uh, so shrink your goal down and make it in the timeline so timeline is three to six months if you really want to push stuff out to a year but it takes a hard focus to see a year away okay that's that's really difficult so T the final two letters to me are the most important parts okay and they tie into some of the rest of the things I talked about in my last video is the E stands for exciting the goal has to be exciting to you if if this goal doesn't jazz you up and excite you and light you on fire it's the wrong goal because you just won't work hard enough to make it happen okay so you, it has to fire you up or the the connection to it to your long-term thing has to fire you up but something about it has to get you going okay there's no guessing about that it has to excite you and the R stands for recorded you can't keep it in here this thing lies to you all the time and recording it means more than just writing it down somewhere put it up on your wall write it in your diary tell five friends about it tell your family about it but somehow you got to record it out there so that it's known and that way you got some checks and balances if you tell somebody it makes it more real if you're writing it down and looking at it every day it makes it more real it allows you to visualize it and actually make yourself really concentrate on what it is that you have to achieve so make your goal small Put it in that timeline of three to six months, which is for most people a good long-term goal. Six months is a long time. A lot can happen in there. And then let's get dedicated. Remember, I'm challenging you and you and you and you and all of my viewers out there to step up this time. Don't allow yourself to fall into the same old trap of get started, get fired up, lose your drive, <laughs> off you go. Get your own project started. Get your life on track make it happen for yourself don't be wishing dreaming hoping you know about something else or winning the lottery or anything like that actually work for it and make it happen and it'll happen quicker than you think book a free session with us let it let whole you coaching get you over the hurdles okay let's talk about it help you nut down what that goal is so that you can really get a hold of it get going follow us subscribe so that you get the latest updates on what we're doing and lots of inspirational motivational stuff that you can latch on to to help you get through those hard patches because there will be hard patches remember I said keep it simple it won't be easy just keep it simple and make sure you're subscribing watch us on YouTube check out our website and uh, you know uh, really get involved I've got some ebooks on there and some articles that you can take a look at remember we've got an event coming up you'll hear more advertisement about that as we get closer and uh, you know we'll, we'll get you on that and it'll be a live thing where we can you know have a good long chat and you can ask questions and so on and so forth so until then stay focused be dedicated remember what John Wooden said what are you willing to sacrifice to make your goal happen today thanks very much stay with the project be hearing from you soon leave me comments